this uh, winners finals, grand finals? Survival. Okay, now we got ourselves winners finals. Poke stays. Chris Beasy. Oh. Poke easy. Chris Fizzle switching to Chris Meta Knight. Let's Chris see what happens here. Chris Mc McFizzle. Chris McFizzle switching to Meta Nizzle. <laughs> Up in the hizzle. <laughs> no, just... Well said. Going to duck hizzle. To Meta too. Knight though. Yeah. Green Against Poke Luigi. Green really? Meta Knight's pretty fuego, so I kind of approve. Mm -hmm. But like. I feel like so many people are just picking up Meta Knight because of, uh... What was it? What's Some his face? Pope Leo. did mention, uh, the, Leo. the Mexican player. Episode. Yeah, Leo. Yeah. But, like, Meta Knight's been garbage from time. Like, people, people, people think just because Leo was able to, you know, take advantage of Mr. R's bad DI and bad air dodging, that Meta Knight is good all of a sudden. He's not good. You, you don't think Meta Knight's good? have really good fundamentals. <laughs> I thought that makes a huge uh, difference. Anyone with good fundamentals actually makes uh, can make any character look yeah. good. Yeah, I've played Meta Knight since the game's released just to kind of like spite all the people that dropped him because he wasn't top tier anymore. I was like, you know what, Meta Knight's still a cool ass character by default, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna play him still. Well, hopefully but we'll no. be able to see if that actually rings true in yeah. this match. Right now he's uh, actually in a little bit of a lead, not by much, but I still think he's pretty bad though. We're gonna have to see. Oh, and Poke doing the double jab into the grab combo and oh, up smash right there into the platform. Him on the platform. Oh, fireball to stop him in his tracks. Good dash attack though. Meta Knight's got a, a pretty decent dash attack. Poke pops you up at that uh, follow up trajectory, which is really good. And we weren't able to see the unfortunately the uh, Meta Knight up string, the up air string. I definitely don't think it's gonna work on Luigi, especially though, because of how floaty he is. Mm -hmm. Like once you get to this 60-ish percent, not only that, he but can, doesn't like, Luigi jump and air dodge out of anything? But doesn't Luigi also have like an amazing neutral, like sorry, an aerial? Yeah, uh, he's there. It's very quick yeah, to come out. Yeah, so it's a combo breaker. So Chris is gonna have to be very careful using that. Yeah, I definitely don't think Meta Knight is. Um, Perhaps looking for another source of damage against, against Luigi. Mm -hmm. I, I would definitely go with Sheik, you know, Sheik or Fox. Add on that damage really quick with the projectiles and then just, you know, go for those kill moves. And if you're constantly throwing projectiles at Luigi, you can't. Uh, Ooh, and the up down B? Not gonna be enough. Usually that's a very potent way to kill with Luigi, unfortunately, not gonna be enough this time around. Oh. Then I follows Luigi right there. Good tech. Oh, oh and the my forward smash! God. Great options here by Chris oh. Fish. And Pope retaliates with an up smash yeah, of his own. Hits him with that noggin. Forward throw. Down throw might have been better combo into a forward air off stage. Get the combo going. We got up air to Nooch. And suddenly this became like an aerial combat. Just everything's just very quick and instantaneous. You gotta utilize that Meta Knight down tilt too. It has the most range out of his uh, like forward tilt and down tilt. And it can trip too occasionally. I was just about to say that and then it happened. Can you combo the down tilt into a, like just a dash attack? Yeah, or like if he trips, you can get a grab on him too. Huh. All right. Right now, Chris is going to be very careful. He has to avoid those Luigi grabs, or else he's going to get a ton of damage actually uh, chunked off him. Here we got the Meta Knight spin. Both characters have very potent kill spins of their own. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, Mock Tornado in this game, as well as the Side B Drill Rush, they've been heavily nerfed from uh, past past game, but. Uh, Drill Rush still a decent recovery tool. Um, you can do like like I did in, in the last set. You might have seen I hit the stage and bounce backwards to avoid the punish. Yep. That you can do with the with the Drill Rush. Oh, oh we got, a, we got ourselves a ledge battle oh right here. Oh my god! And, the and that's that's going to be enough the to sweet kill. This spot Nooch, right out of uh, right out of startup. That fresh Red neutral air. Wow. That's gonna be. Uh, he was at like 120 or 132. They, they were both within kill percentage. Yeah, Honestly, it could have been. A, it could have went either way, to be honest. And this is gonna be a best of five set too. Winners finals. I just love how. I, I honestly gotta say, I love how Meta Knight's been being picked up a lot though lately. I know you might not agree, but like, it seems like that return to uh, the glory that he once had in Brawl is never gonna be as good, but. All right, so it was on the whole time before, and I just turned it off, so I'm happy about that. Anyways, I just feel like it's such like a bandwagony thing. Like I don't, like why do people gotta be such bad boys? You know, bad boys. Bad boys. Yeah, you know. All right, game two. Hope takes Meta Knight to final destination. We're gonna see 
maybe this changes things up a bit. We're seeing more fireballs by Poke, that's for sure. Oh, that oh! tripped him somehow. That We're seeing more combos. 81% already. Can that's we get a super jump nuts. punch? That would be insane. I actually wanted to ask Poke about that because I know that. Oh, oh my the up smash God. delayed! Beautiful! The, reads. the hardest of reads. That was Mango esque. Oh. Wow. And 37%. One stock ahead. He's going to get more damage right here. Oh. That was crazy. Okay, trying to get one of those charge smash attacks of his own. Poke's not going to run into it though. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to get those up air strings into up B like he's hoping for. Um, Luigi's just too light. He's too light. And he's got that new oh! like you were saying. Oh my the god, forward, forward smash. smash. Cleanly cuts him right off the ledge. He's got a very good pivot forward smash just because of its range and strength. Mm -hmm. You can really just, uh, and Meta Knight's speed, ground speed, you can just run past people and pivot forward oh, smash. It's but Chris really Fish good. is going to have to be very careful with those spins. That left him wide open. Poke just went in there, grabbed him, and gave him, brought him up to 67%. Yeah, you gotta really utilize Meta Knight's ground speed. And you can see Chris Fish doing a great oh. job of this, getting these punishes where uh, where he can. Just closing the distance with Meta Knight's quick ground speed. This is actually a really good match. Like, I'm kind of surprised. I've never seen Chris Fish do so well with yeah, Meta Knight. Yeah, very tight. And I this is post know, Luigi, after all. I didn't even know Chris Fish had a Meta Knight in this game. I know his Meta Knight was super, super dirty in Brawl, though. <laughs> it's really hard to actually gauge which way this will go. Meta Knight's brought up to 100%. Yep. He's definitely within kill range. A reverse up smash from Luigi could seal the deal right now. Even a grab into the down uh, down throw into down B is yeah, probably going to be ball. enough. An up B close to the top is going to kill Luigi, though. Ooh. But he's also going to have to watch out for those forward smashes, too. Both oh, times! Oh, my oh, God! And the down just beat. as you called it, the down throw to Luigi's Cyclone. Yeah. Going to tie the set up at 1-1. One, one. So that's usually the best way I find that Poke gets, like, a very safe kill. I mean, there's obviously other ways in which Luigi can score the kill, but You can so honestly far. just down throw, wait for the air dodge, like, follow you in midair with his double jump, wait for the air dodge, and then, and then down beat. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, Chris Fish, I, well, I just want to make a point that both times he was able to get two stocks off of a poke cleanly with the forward smash. He yes. always tends to play around the ledge too. It's, it's yeah. always really good for Meta Knight because he's not afraid to be by the ledge. He's got the flying ability. His, his up B like is up. Five min air jumps. Yeah, he's and his up B. Yeah. And his up B is, very, is really, really good recovery. He has no reason to fear the ledge. Meta Knight definitely has no reason to fear the ledge. Good trump. Not doing anything with it though. Good Luigi Cyclone to come back on stage, gain that center stage. This stage okay. is going to be a bit interesting because oh. now that there's platforms, Chris Fish can easily use the platforms to actually make sure that he can stay away from the Luigi grabs. And Chris Fish recognizing he, he wasn't going to be able to get more than three of those up airs before Luigi could air dodge. So mm. Not, not uh, oh. overextending, oh, saving I his double that. jump. Good nooch to up smash. Thought he was dead, eh? Yeah, I thought that he was dead. No, I had that double jump still. And we're back. Chris, uh, Poke has center stage here. He's pretty much got the power position. Ooh. Oh, great read on that up smash. He's down, uh, Chris Fish down by a couple percent. Doesn't really matter at this, uh, stage. He was down by, like, plus 50 just a minute ago. Yeah, all of a sudden he's closed the gap. And both definitely within a kill percentage of, Ooh. like... Ooh. I thought despite there being no spark, that backer was gonna kill. Oh! The up smash right there. There's the spark he needs. 90%? The All black right. spark. Okay, down throw forward air. Doesn't get the noose. Great DI from Chris Fish. The second one right here. Oh, forward but this air time up he air. combos it with the up air and yep. the back air. Yeah, great stuff. Oh, perfectly spaced forward smash. Keeps him safe. Forward smash has a lot of ending lines. We got more ground, uh, grab combos, but now that the platforms are back, Chris Fish can easily utilize those platforms to his advantage, making sure that he doesn't get grabbed. But that might oh be already too late. Oh my god, that up B kills so early. Clean two stock by Poke. Yeah, 2 1 for Poke. One more will send Chris Fish into the loser's bracket to face the champion of the loser's bracket. Who would that be, actually? Um, I'm going to say Ice Ninja. I think it's Ice Ninja. Yeah, I think it's Ice Ninja, too. 
He was still around. Like he's still in the tournament. So yeah, at like, this point, it's he safe beat to say me, that he's... he beat me and then he beat somebody else. So I think I think it's him. I was face. I was hoping that I would face him, but you actually got the quite a clean victory Honestly, on me. After I fraud it out so hard in my first match, I did not think I was going to make that losers bracket run that I did. But mm. so that's how the cookie crumbles. So we're going to Halberg, and then at home third, a very good counter pick for Chris Fish. I would say uh, low ceilings. Yep. Especially during uh, during the transforming parts where the ship but is landing and taking off. I will say this: this could be a double-edged sword because Poke does have that ability to kill with the down B. Yeah. This is just going to make his job a lot easier. He's got very, very good uh, off the top kill moves like up smash, down B, and up B. So. Oh, and he gets a trump. He's gonna. He's definitely got to be careful. I don't think actually. I don't really think I've seen Luigi's pull. Um, other than off the top most of the time. Like, yeah. the majority of their kills are off the top. Well, with Poke especially, he's gotten a lot of the up smashes and the down Bs. Yeah, this is probably a dangerous counter pick for uh, Mennonite. Like I was thinking, when you kept agreeing, like, you were you were very um, happy about my counter pick to Delvino and, like, all the, the other stages with the most healings. Yeah. Uh, I was Rosalina worried about that, because I thought you were going to use that to your advantage as well. So, like, we could yeah. see that happen right here with Poke. Oh, and the and down there, B, there we go. Just as, as I called it, it, the yes. low ceiling definitely being used by Poke to his advantage. Taking it to his advantage, like we were just talking about. Amazing job. That's another thing about counter picks too, that most people don't realize, is that when you pick a stage, you also got to be very aware that the stage doesn't have to just benefit your character. You also have to be very aware of it could also benefit your opponent as well. Yeah, you gotta you gotta know what does it give you oh, and what does it give your enemy. The again, the second one. And there we go, another two stop under 100. percent I wonder if Chris. Chris Fish is rethinking that counterpick, mm -hmm. or he's just rethinking, you know, character choice or what, you know?